the government has a long history of um, investing in these in, pro in projects in the past that damage rivers and you know perpetuate injustices against um, you know, Black, Indigenous, Latinx, and other marginalized communities. So I think you know we can think back to the Great Depression, the Public Works Administration, one of the kind of big entities that was created during that time. They built really massive dams and other water projects, you know, like the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River, Fort Peck on the Missouri, Grand Coulee on the Columbia, the upper Mississippi River locks and dams, um, you know, across the country, rivers were harnessed, uh, watersheds were degraded, you know, ecosystems were destroyed. And, and, you know, besides that, communities were displaced. I mean, indigenous people, um, you know, were moved from their homes, cultural sites were destroyed, and, you know, really important areas, riverside lands, rivers themselves were inundated with water. Um, and then I think, you know, when you sort of look forward from the Great Depression to where we are now, you know, too often communities of color and low-income communities live in floodplains or drain wetlands, or they happen to be in, you know, in areas that are adjacent to sewage outfalls. Um, as a result of historic discrimination. And living in these areas, you know, results in a higher likelihood of experiencing the effects of urban flooding or combined sewer overflows and, you know, the health burdens that are associated with poor water quality. 